Hello guys, step by step on unlocking MDM KG locked phones. This is Samsung Galaxy A22 and we're going to bypass it KG lock. As on my previous videos, the process is a bit the same. First thing first, go to the tool named SAMFW, the FRP tool. Then click on open. Just go and click on yes on the prompt. And then wait for the tool to load and it will open in less than a second and then go ahead and click on factory reset these phones don't have factory reset option so we're going to use this tool click on factory reset checking a db connection and then after a few seconds waiting for device wiping wiping the phone will be wiped to factory settings then click on reboot system now Go and click on reboot system now and wait for your phone to boot. It may take a few seconds or a few minutes. You just need to be a bit patient. And then boom, you are on the welcome screen. Go to the emergency call. Go to the emergency call and dial star hash zero star hash. And wait for the test mode menu to appear. If the test mode menu doesn't appear, you can use the Alliance Shield mode. You can use the Alliance Shield method. The Alliance Shield method will work on Nox devices only. Then go ahead and click on allow. Don't don't click on allow USB debugging now. Don't click on allow USB debugging. Then go and open CMD or minimal ADB and fast boot. And then type the following command. After typing the following command, this is the time to allow USB debugging. Click on always allow USB debugging, then click on allow. If your phone states ADB cannot be recognized as external or, in or internal command, go and install Android platform tools. And it should state here, new system UI state disabled user. Then go ahead and on this Samsung FRP tool, the password is just on the file. You don't have to search for the password or the password is NKTM VIP in caps lock. Then go and kill update. You need to kill update first. First thing first, you need to kill update so that when we are setting the phone, updates might will updates will not be downloaded on the process because the new security patch is a bit stronger then go and click on disable kg lock click on disable kg lock checking a db mode connected operation disable kg lock mtk android version 11 disable kg lock done it will state your device was locked because device services was as was uninstalled without authorization now go ahead and click on restart and after clicking on restart, just be patient. This is a process to be patient. And you need to follow the steps in order as I have done for successful unlock. Some people skip and then they say the method did not work. But you need to follow the steps as I have done. Then you'll be back to the welcome screen. As you can see when you try to set the phone. You won't be able to skip or an, an unauthorized attempt was made to factory reset the phone. You won't be able to skip or to set the phone because we have disabled the update. So you won't be able to skip the phone or set the phone. Go back to the tool, the Samsung tool. Go back to the FRP tool and click on remove FRP. And it will set the phone for you completely offline just need to sit back and relax and wait for your phone to be set and here frp remove successful just wait for your phone to boot just wait for your phone to boot it might take a few minutes or a few seconds depending on the speed of your phone this is samsung galaxy 22 samsung galaxy 22 just wait for your phone to start starting android and then boom your phone is unlocked 
and you can use it. And remember to set your SIM card pinless, your carrier, your SIM card, it needs to be pinless so that it may work. And the last, 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 very, very final step, you need to restore your data. You can restore your data, you can restore the settings if you had backed up earlier. You can restore the settings, the, the clock, contacts, messages, etc. Goodbye.